Hi, I'm Joan Manson. Welcome to my vlog. And today you're going to get the chance to watch me correct a mistake. Watercolor pencils were a mistake in this project. So I figured I'd try the drawing inks I used in the background. And it worked. So I'm going to show you what I did and how it changed everything. But first, I settled into my workspace. I had my drawing and my pencils and my inks. And for some reason, I decided I was going to do this in the vertical 9-18 uh, ratio. So I did. Just applying a combination of vermilion and black and blue to uh, make this brown. No, I, I'm sorry. It was vermilion and yellow and black. And then over the graphite drawing, I painted a glaze with Faber-Castell's watercolor pencils and it just didn't work. It didn't work. I like the background that I got with the ink. This was done with the graphite and watercolor pencils. Do not like it. Doesn't give me the strength or the color. And I suppose if I worked on it or combined colors differently, it would work, but it's not. So I'm going to repaint the frog with ink. I'm using the Winsor Newton ink. I've got emerald. I've got canary, I've got vermilion, and I have black. Now, I've got some water, I've got a little dish here where I don't have his droppers, but you know, I'll just use the brushes for that. I'm going to start with using. Around brush. This is the number nine round. And I want to turn my brushes around. This is the number five. This is the number six. Okay. I'm going to start with some yellow. And again, this is the Winsor Newton, the drawing ink. You usually dip your nib pen in there. Um, I'll be dipping my brush in. And I'm going to move it along. the areas where I see the yellow. And I have yellow from my pencil, but this is going to sharpen it. This is going to make it stand out. And I'm just painting on loosely here. This is watercolor paper. It's a artist loft watercolor paper sketch pad. And I'm doing all of my experimenting in here. Okay, I'm just gonna, I've decided I'm just gonna glaze the whole thing in yellow to start with because these are all translucent colors. I 
I really liked what I did with the background, and I mixed three colors for that. I mixed black and green and vermilion to make this brown, and I sprinkled salt on it, which doesn't operate the same way it does with watercolors, but it created dark spots, and then I sprayed it with a little water, so I created some white spots, and as opposed to having a solid background. Let's see. Okay, let's rinse that one out, put this one aside. Actually, what I'm going to do is in my little bowl over here. Okay. I hope it doesn't dry too quickly. Okay. Let's put aside now. Let me bring in the emerald green. green paint on my fingers from the acrylics. I was just painting a sample for a cl paint class I'm doing in June. It's going to be very loose, very primitive, and I can't paint without... I don't care how neat I am. It just doesn't happen. Okay, now I'm going to take a bit of that vermilion and mix it in with So I make an orange. What I'm going to do first is put it over here. I mean, it's orange. I know it's not supposed to be orange. I want to see how the green works right over it because it's an experiment. And I'm doing a glaze, and I want to see what I'm getting here. A little too much. I had thought to put um, the cells of the skin into the image, but the bubble of the paper really takes care of that. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to take some of that green and put it in with the orange that I made. And a little bit more green. I've got to get little droppers. I did have a bunch of droppers and I gave them away because I wasn't using them. I am so silly. Right now, I'm not giving anything away. I'm, if I feel like I'm not using it in the near future, I'm packing it, but I'm not throwing it away. Now, let me just try. There we go. That's much better. Dabbing it in, and this is technically what I'll dry.
Okay, now I'm going to bring in the black. I know they have other colors as well, but I started with this set. This is certainly enough for me to mix colors with. This is pretty obvious. And I'm going to take that number six brush, put back the number nine. Paint, and I'm gonna darken that brown. You see it's made a really dark chocolatey brown. And that was just a touch of black. It's very strong. Let me clean that brush off. Get the excess out of it. Touches here and there. I'm going to put in deeper shadows. And it takes very little. Whoops, let me put this out of the way so I don't knock anything over. It takes very, very little. I want to get the eye. So I can get the eyelids. All right. I know that's a lot, but then here comes the napkin. And then more water. Okay. And a touch of the yellow over here. Why not? And a dab with the napkin. Okay. 
and we bring the yellow over to make it look greener. And this is like all off the cuff. I had no idea I was going to end up doing this. Um, I haven't painted with inks for years, like three, four, five. Um, you sort of lose the touch. And I think all I want to do right now is um, highlight with white. So let me cap my inks and put them out of the way. And here's my Linzer Newton white. Shake it up a little bit. I use the Winsor Newton white for highlighting on everything. Uh, white watercolor pencils, um, colored pencils, watercolor. But there are places that I'd like to get some highlights on here. Doing here. A dot of light here, And I realize this isn't a perfect rendering. But considering that it's a rescue, you should see what I just did to my painting for my Monday night class. That was a serious rescue. And that's how it turned into being a primitive art piece. Okay. Just doing dots of ref lighted reflections on the skin cells. And dab them on. Okay. Just so there's a notion. That looks a little more lifelike. And the witch of the ear. Okay, and that's better. And
Okay, that's much better. I'm going to leave the tree limb with the watercolor pencil. It came out just the way I wanted it. it it's soft. It's a part of the background and a part of the foreground. I, it's what I wanted to do. So I'm leaving that. But my my tree frog was really sort of very sad looking and depleted. Now the ink gets absorbed into the into the other ink, the white ink. So it's not so I'm going back and touching it up again. This area up a bit with that white. Okay, let's see. Let's come back to this here, this area here, because it does need to be much darker. I guess this shows that watercolor pencils can be an underpainting for um, drawing inks. Trying to make sure that this is darker. Okay. And I'm pronouncing you finished. Thank you for joining me. If you've been with me before, I really appreciate your sticking with me. And if this is your first time, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And it would be very nice if you wanted to follow me and see other things that I do in the future. Um, this is a blog. I don't really do um, demonstrations. I, I do demonstrations, not tutorials. I have done some tutorials, but it uh, seems not to be what people want. Um, but sharing materials and ideas is something I like to see and other people uh, apparently like to see. So I'm hoping that we can mesh on that. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any other ideas for something I could uh, share with you, then please make a comment below. And um, there are um, links to these products on Amazon and uh, thank you so much for tuning in and you have a wonderful creative beautiful day or evening depending upon when you watch this. <laughs>